The Chicago Bears are coming off a season in which they won the NFC North. Now, the Bears are hoping to make it back to the playoffs for a second year in a row and also make it farther in the playoffs. Can they do it? Well, this is year two of Nagy's, of Matt Nagy's reign as Chicago Bears head coach. And the Bears lost Vic Fangio as their defensive coordinator. So now they're going to be going with a new coordinator, a new system on D, but they still return Khalil Mack, probably the best defensive player in the game today. And they also have returning stalwarts Mitchell Trubisky and, of course, Allen Robinson at wide receiver, Trey Burton at tight end. But they lost Jordan Howard in the offseason as their running back. So right now, the question for the Bears is who's going to run their ball? Who's going to run the ball for them? Right now, Mike Davis and David Montgomery are the top candidates. So we'll see how the Bears do offensively as they juggle some parts around. Let's start with their schedule. Hosting the Green Bay Packers. I see them beating the Packers on that Thursday night home opener. The Bears finally overcame their losing streak against the Packers last year at Soldier Field. And I see them extending a new one, beating the Packers again. So the Bears are going to be 1-0. They head into Denver and... While the Bears have much better talent than the Broncos, and I will say this 100 times over, the Bears are better than the Broncos. However, this is the Broncos' home opener. The Broncos do well in home openers, and I see them overcoming the Bears. Week 2. Week 3, the Bears go into Landover and beat the Redskins on the road. So I have the Bears starting their season 2-1. and one. The Bears host the Vikings, and I see them taking down the Minnesota Vikings once again at home to go to 3-1. and one. They go to London, taking on the Raiders, and I see the Bears blowing them away to go to 4-1. and one. So you see a theme here. I see the Bears actually doing well early on in the season. They go on a bye week. Coming off the bye week, they take down the New Orleans Saints. They find a way to stop Alvin Kamara and Drew Brees and Michael Thomas, and they go to 5-1. and one. So the Bears are flying high right now. They're 5-1. and one. Things are looking really well. Well, this is where it all goes to hell. The Chargers come into town and somehow pull off a victory thanks to a great passing game and a great defense of their own. The Chargers just have too much uh, offensive firepower to take down the Bears. The Eagles host the Bears, and I'm giving the Eagles a nod because they're the home team (laughs) in this situation. Then the Bears get a lucky reprieve as the Lions come into town, and I see the Bears taking them down here to end their losing streak. So by this point, the Bears will be 6-3. and The Bears head into L.A. to take on the Rams, and the Rams get revenge for that loss from last season. And the Bears falls to 6-4. The Bears get a lucky break as the New York Giants come into town, and I see the Bears winning this one to go to 7-4. And And here is where things get a little sketchy. They go into Detroit. This is a team that the Bears are better than. Let's not get it twisted here. The Bears are a better team than the Lions. However, the Lions, despite getting swept by the Bears last year, usually play them tough. And if not for a bad turnover in the last year's Thanksgiving game, the Lions could have won that game. So I see the Lions making up for that and winning it this year. The Bears host the Cowboys on Thursday Night Football and take them down. Bears go in the Lambeau Field, and I see the Packers finding a way to eke out a victory. So the Bears will be 8-6 and by this point. They're hosting a very good Kansas City Chiefs team. But just like the Seahawks did last year, the Bears win on Sunday Night Football in a must-win victory. Must-win game to win. They'll be 9-6 by this point and playing the Vikings with a chance to win the division. However, the Vikings will win that Week 17 game. So the Bears will be 9-7. They'll make the playoffs, but they will not win the NFC North. They'll enter the playoffs as a number 5 seed this year, making the playoffs, as and the Vikings will win the division. And you'll see in my Vikings predictions why I believe the Vikings will win the division. Do you agree with my Chicago Bears predictions? Do you think the Bears will win more than 9 games? Do you think the Bears will win less than nine games and miss the playoffs all entirely? Let me know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. Tell me what you think and how the Bears are going to do this, how the Bears are going to do this season. And thank you for watching this video.